I'm the Magpie. And I'm Jax. And this is Mondays, Mondays with, with Magpie. Magpie. And today we are continuing our Bread Chronicles. The bread Chronicles. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I actually truly do not know. Just so you, people probably think that I know what we're doing. I really don't yeah, know no. what, until this moment. <laughs> I <laughs> Something like, about bread, I knew that. Yeah. Well, I like surprises. <laughs> and I like to be surprised. Yes, yes. yes. Well, you remember the egg surprise and the, uh, the hash. A few episode. episodes back. So, yes, yeah. If was, you haven't seen it, go check it out. Yeah, it was very Give it a thumbs up. Very, very surprising. <laughs> but anyway, so now that you have been making bread, nineteen to the dozen. Yes. And you've made bread and made bread and made bread. And you're you're an kind of expert like, at it or, now. You're like I need a yes. challenge. Yes. This bread making is just part of my daily routine. That's it. Yeah, weekly routine. <laughs> well, so we are going to make sweet dough, oh. and we are now going to. You are going to make your own cinnamon buns. Oh, nice. Yes. Or as my mother used to say, because she was from England, Chelsea buns. Chelsea buns after the. Lady, long time ago, Chelsea with the really nice rear end. <laughs> yeah, it's historical. Yeah. It's very historical. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline, to begin making Chelsea buns or sweet dough, it's just a nice sweet dough, we are going to start with, uh, in a large bowl, four cups of white flour, all purpose flour. Four. Four. All right. On bowl du trois. Sometimes you have to put your fingers right. like this while you level. That's it. That's the that's the only one down. Yes, that's <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes we forget. This exactly. is a great tip <laughs> if you've got a short attention span. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> it works. It's what I do because I have kids coming up to me, talking to me. Yeah. Three. Three. And you still got the one for leveling. <laughs> it's very nicely. Four. Four. All right, wonderful. And you don't even have to think. No, hardly. There's no thinking involved. All right, now you're going to add one quarter teaspoon of salt. Here is salt. Mm -hmm. One quarter teaspoon. Quarter. There's, yeah, it's a quarter teaspoon. Quarter. There you go. A quarter. Side of another. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Quarter teaspoon of salt. And because it's a sweet dough, we're going to put two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar. So here we go, Jack. Two thirds of a cup. All right, good luck. How it fits. Is it going to fit? Mm -hmm. I don't need know. a spoon. You need a spoon. Possibly. Oh, no, she's getting it. She's getting it. We need to up the budget of this show and get I, a bigger I, I <laughs> <laughs> Or spoons. <laughs> or spoons. Okay. All right, just this in there? Yeah, that's it. Okay. okay. And in order to make the bread rise, I forgot the yeast. Here we go. You need one tablespoon of yeast or two packets of dried yeast. All right, so one one tablespoon of yeast. Oops, I should use the finger. Nah, oh, so the, the, the fickle no, finger doesn't. of one. Of one. <laughs> put it in, right? Yeah, put it, put it in. It's gonna like that in. sugar. All right, good. All right, so we're gonna mix that all together. You can use your hand and mix it all. Hands are good things. It's your best tool in the kitchen. All right, that's it. Don't Again, play with it. <laughs> historically speaking, that's yes. probably what we started out with. Absolutely, absolutely. We started with hands. Okay, and uh, so we're, now we have all of our dry ingredients. Now we're going to add the wet ingredients. Now it's time for the wet ingredients. Now because it's a sweet dough, you are not going to use water. We're going to use whole milk. So two and a half cups of whole milk. Measure, measure. Yeah, two, two and and a half cups of whole milk. <laughs> All right, your that's finger there. there as yes, before. yes. Put your finger there. Now, um, when I do this, yes, I yes. and you need one stick of butter, and we're going to melt it. So I found because the butter gets really, really hot, if you melt the butter first and then add the milk. Uh, you don't have to uh, wait around while it all cools down. Okay. So the one thing that will kill your bread, any kind of bread, is too hot water. It will kill the yeast. Too hot or right. too cold. Probably. Yeah, too hot or too cold. It needs to be right at that uh, 112 to 115. Okay, Jax, light her up. No, no. Oh. Melt the butter first. Right, you just said that. Yeah, I know I did. Fortunately, it wasn't list, but she's not. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to add the milk. And we're going to warm it up. That you do have to keep stirring, I know, from hot chocolate. Yeah. 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 Skim on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on stirring. I'll get my little thermometer here. Okay, Jax, we're there. Okay. So turn off the gas. Okay. Now, we are going to add three eggs to there. Oh. 
All right, so we have one big... Now, you think you can crack the eggs, Jacqueline? I never knows. Okay, all right, good to see she remembered. <laughs> you crack them into something else first so that you don't uh, have a shell. There we go. In the whole, yeah. No, I don't thing. even need to count this because you can just look down and see the yolk. <laughs> she really Unless you get a double bright. yolk, then it's complicated. <laughs> she just acts blonde every now and then. You want to keep people expecting the worst so they're really impressed when you say something smart. Okay, put them in there and keep stirring because you don't want it to, uh, to make poached eggs. Okay. All right, so stir, stir, stir. Break those, break the yolks. Break the yolks up. You might have to poke them, I don't know. I don't even see them anymore. Oh, they're, they're still swimming around. I can see it. But I dump it in. Dump it in. We'll we'll deal oh, with right it eventually. Yeah, we'll deal with it in the pot. All right. So your eggs, everything's gonna go in, and then just as we did in the uh, first episode of bread, you stir and you stir and you stir. So now it's like lumpy pudding. Yeah, like texture. <laughs> yeah, or a pancake batter or something. All right, I'll throw it in, okay. since we are a team here. Okay. If you don't have a team, you have to do this yourself. It's very, very uh, <laughs> difficult. Yes. It always went everyone eating your Chelsea buns. <laughs> yeah. Or your cinnamon buns. <laughs> no, I'll call them Chelsea buns. They must Chelsea be buns. Chelsea buns. From now on, they are no longer because cinnamon we're going to put currants in them. Oh, okay. Actually, we're going to make two kinds of buns. I A big surprise for Jacqueline. We're going to make pecan sticky buns and we're going to make... Um, cinnamon oh, buns. That really good. I know, I know. I really don't know. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be delicious. <laughs> They're gonna be delicious. <laughs> Make a variety right. of buns. Here goes more. Here goes more. All right, that's two cups. Okay. So now that's six cups all together. Now we're probably going to be adding a, a bit more here. So, okay. Oh yeah, it's all right. Yeah, sticky now. Out. Yeah, it's still a little sticky. Thought it was. Yeah. It depends upon how messy you plan on getting as to when you dump it out. I mean, I expect. <laughs> That's all right. I oh, expect no. you could. I expect you could probably make the whole thing. Um, I think old-fashioned people used to do that. They dump all the flour right on the. We're not that old-fashioned. We're not. Yeah, we're not that old. We're a little bit hip and cool. <laughs> 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 okay, Jax. I think you're ready. All right, ready. I'm going to throw some flour on the surface. And then we're gonna knead away. Right. Okay, Jacqueline. It's ready we believe oh yeah it looks really really good so it's pushed. see how it pushed back it springs back yeah it springs back when it springs back so now i want you to make a nice a nice round nice smooth little round top and honestly it, it um it just gets a little harder when you push that's how you feel it because that's the yeah. part that i was very nervous about with regular yeah. bread yeah is you push and you feel it it's not that it actually pushes you back like you're gonna fall over it's just that there's resistance there's, there's resistance yeah, and you really do feel it. All right, so as we did with the other bread, we're gonna Does that look like oil. We're gonna oil. Yeah, that was that's all right. I mean, it'll raise no matter what. So, all right, get the flour off. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty, pretty. Smack that baby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Good, good, good. I love that slamming it. Very, in very good. Okay, good. You probably would have made it look a little prettier. You know what? It doesn't matter. It it tastes good. And your first, ep your first efforts are not going to be perfect. So, I mean, if they are, good for you. But um, they might be, you know, god-awful. In which case, you just you mark it up as practice. That's the thing, too. Like, I was always so nervous about messing it up. And, like, you yeah. can't mess it up yeah. too badly. It always tastes good. Out. It might just look strange. In which case, you know, your husband will eat anything, we hope. You know, and if you mess it. And your children it. will eat anything. If you really mess it up, you have to throw it away. Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody Unless knows. Unless you're being filmed. No one knows. Yeah, nobody, nobody has any idea. All right, so we're going to cover this with a towel, and it's going to raise for one and a half hours. Now we're going to make the sticky part of the sticky bun. So we start with one stick of butter. All right. And one cup of... Um, a brown sugar. So I don't know. Can we get in there with one cup? Probably not. No. Here, spoon it out. Spoon it out. All right, go, go, go. 
and then pack it in when you know along the I way. I have buttery fingers, in. so I'm trying not to <laughs> drop the glass. <laughs> yeah, and just pack it in nice. I'm making a mess. Yeah, cooking is messy. That's okay. That's not even close. <laughs> That's why you have to pack brown sugar because it uh it goes down to nothing. Okay. That's close. That's close enough. enough Once left. again, not rocket science. Okay, it is rocket science. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Pump it in. Dump it in. Okay. And then uh, grab a wooden spoon or something. A sturdy thing. Anything, Jax. All right. Okay, oh, that's good. That has a hole in it. Oh, right there. oh that's a hole in it. Mix it up. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of corn syrup. It's either dark or light. The recipe calls for dark, but I don't have dark, so guess what? Light works just as well. No one will know. No, no one will know. It oh. still is sticky. Did you use light? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Give it back. I can tell. <laughs> and you cook that until it boils, all right? That's going to boil. And once it boils, we are going to dump it in the bottom of a pan, which I'm going to now go find. <laughs> it's, it's coming pretty much to a nice boil now, but it does, you need to let it boil. So boil now. All right, there we go. Now, dump it in the bottom of this thing, ungreased, all right, ungreased. Because it's got butter. Yeah. And then we're going to throw in some uh, pecans. If your family doesn't like pecans, you can use walnuts, but we are using pecans. Mm -hmm. or, we'll someone or else's pecans or pecans or, I don't know, whatever. They can develop a taste for it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> there you go. So there we, there's our, our sticky. What do you see these things when they come out? Oh, 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 aren't they good? All right, set it to one side. Set it to one side. Okay. All right. It's going to harden a little bit, but don't worry about it because you're going to cook it and it'll all soften up again. All right. Now then, let's put a cup of sugar. sugar. Now we're making cinnamon sugar. That's more, not rocket science. Just, you know, some sugar. So we'll start with, uh, and whatever's left over, you just stick in a jar and save it for next time. All right. Go ahead. That's good enough. And then we'll start with a teaspoon. Uh, be very, very careful with the cinnamon because um, it doesn't take long for it to to do its thing. And you don't want a, you know too strong a, a cinnamon flavor. Not to get bitter. Yeah, one teaspoon just about did it. What do you think, Jax? Sure. Smells cinnamony. Yeah, smells cinnamony. That's all right. All right so there you go. Now let's put let's put one more. I want one more in. All right, go ahead. Do it, do it with your fingers. <laughs> Yeah, that's better. Two teaspoons, one, yeah, one cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay. Looks like right. that. And then while you were away, I took about a half a box of currants, Zanti made currants, and I put them in water. Anytime you use um, raisins, dry cranberries, currants, you put them in water and rehydrate them. Otherwise, when you go to eat them and you've already baked something, it's like little stone and we don't like that so that makes them all nice and plump so we are plumping them and you said that this is Chelsea rolls and they always have currants they always have currants not raisins not raisins however if you don't have currants in your house you currently don't have currants then you then you do raisins Put whatever you got yes, yes. <laughs> that's my but don't my, call them Chelsea buns no <laughs> call them cinnamon buns <laughs> okay ready I'm gonna put some Stuff in here. Ooh, look at how nice. Yeah. It's very, very nice. Okay, dump it. What See? Happened? See? All by itself. Dump it out. All right. All right. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. <laughs> See? We learn. <laughs> good. All right, good. All right, great. Okay, now then. Now. You can either use your fingers and press it out to about a 10 by 15 rectangle, or you can roll it. What do you want to if do, If you Jax? really want to be, you do have this. <laughs> Actually, I have a yardstick <laughs> at the ready. Okay, 
here I am with my yardstick, and it I'm is. Sorry, baby. Um, sorry, baby. <laughs> that's about 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's about right. What was it supposed to be? Yeah, about 15, 16, okay. somewhere around there, and about 10. So that's about right. Okay. That's about right. Let's let's get some of this down here. Just makes it easier when you roll it up. Okay. Okay. All right. So now these are going to be the sticky buns. So the sticky buns start with, first of all, we have to uh, melt some butter. Okay, so we're going to melt a, a stick of butter. You can do it in the microwave if you want to, but you no, know, we're right here at the stove, so. It's better with butter. Yeah. <laughs> and I should have had this done ahead of time and I forgot about it. So uh, melt your butter when you're ready. All right, we'll come back when the butter is melted. Okay, now the butter has melted. So the first thing we're going to do, Jax, is you're going to brush the surface with butter. This is to make the cinnamon sugar stick. So uh, just slop it on. You don't have to be careful. This is uh, this is just glue, uh, not all of it. Yeah. I just thought yeah, go quicker. Yeah. Because that's going to also do the uh, the other half. So uh, we don't want to wait for some in that corner. You missed this, Matt. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Good. Alrighty. This counts as sweeping. Yeah, and then you sprinkle with cinnamon sugar, basic cinnamon roll stuff. All right, sprinkle, sprinkle. Is that too much? No, that's fine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You want to taste it? I mean, after all, after all. Well, I'm going to taste it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This all is for me, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's all for you. <laughs> I'm going to do it like this. I just feel like I can't get control of it. No, that's fine. You also can use your hands. So uh, then I have some, uh, up some more pecans. So I'm going to sprinkle those on, because after all, we did call them pecan sticky buns. I was going to say, they're really pecan they're, uh, pecan in my house. Very pecan -y, very, very pecan -y. <laughs> We won't do too many, I mean, after all. You know what? Yeah, I'm almost there, so let's just use them all. Oh, you want them? Oh. Yeah, yeah there we go. There. Okay. And now for the fun part. Now, you start here, and you roll. And you have to kind of stop it. Like small? Yeah. And then you roll again. When you roll by yourself, it's so much fun. Because you want to try to keep it nice and tight. You don't want it to get out of your uh, out of your control. Don't squish I'm it. I'm not singing it again. Yeah. Rolling, you know what I'm rolling, rolling. rolling. <laughs> now don't squish. Oh, now see? see? Look. Okay. You gotta you gotta roll, roll gently. Kind of kind of push your thumbs underneath and get it rolling. Yeah, because you don't want it to you don't squish it. Don't squish it. And then when you get this far, then you pull it over and you pinch it so that we stick it all together in one big roll. That's why we call it buns. I know. Yeah, pinch them. Yeah, pinch them. <laughs> uh, yeah. I get okay. it. <laughs> and now we roll it over so that the seam is on the bottom. I just find it's easier that way. Okay. All right, seam is on the bottom. And then you kind of, you know, squish it to make sure that there's no air in it. Take a serrated knife, I use a serrated knife, and you're going to cut one inch slices, but you're not going to press the knife down, all right? You're going to do nice, gentle sawing back and forth, because if you press, it, it, won't, be, it won't be any good. Yeah, it won't be any good. Okay, one inch slices. All right, this is an inch. <laughs> I measured my thumb Oh, there. she's very, very good. No, that's, so that's good. Inch. That's, that's very, very good. All right, and good, good slice, good slicing, good, Jacqueline. Thank you. Good slicing. I have my moments. Yes. There's no math involved. <laughs> I mean, very little math. I guess I did just measure. Now it looks like these would probably have made two dishes, but uh, we're making one, so. Okay. At least on camera. When we go away, we'll we'll, we'll make, make another. Our second one. Yeah, we'll make another one. Okay, so this is how they look. Now they need to raise for about 20 to 30 more minutes, and you'll know because they'll, uh, they'll come up a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit, and then they'll go in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350. Okay, so the sticky buns have cooked now for about 22 minutes, and it is time now to see if we can flip them over. What do you All right, ready? Go. No, wait. All right, pick it up for a minute. Yeah. On top? <laughs> All right. Is now, that how you do it? <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's how you do it. We're doing it today. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, forgot it. Oh, okay. Now. Now you pray that it will come out. 
It, oh, it is. Oh, all right, good. Okay, <laughs> hold it long enough. There's that one little knife. spot. There we go. <gasps> Did I rip oh, it? Yeah, well, I ripped a little bit. Like we say, you're in the privacy of your own kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody what you did. No, <laughs> mm. a little bit. Mm. That'll be mine. I'll eat it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so there we are. There's our sticky buns. Mm. Okay, now it's my turn to taste. Well, I'll join you. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's sinful. Yes, it's really it's good. It's sinful. It's so oh, delicious. Yeah. Mm. 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 Okay, that being said, we've got one more to try. All right, so now for the Chelsea buns, after they cool, we're going to make a glaze. And you've got gonna... some powdered sugar? Yeah. 10x or? 10x sugar. Yeah, I'll put it all in. Some 10x sugar. I'm just going to get some cream. That's it. 10x sugar and cream. And you start with little tiny bits of cream or else before you know it you'll have uh, you'll have soup. <laughs> so it always looks like it's not going to be enough. Well that's not enough. <laughs> but all right, so now I'm going to try. That's enough. Nah, it's still not going to roll. It's basically, you stir it until your eyes glaze over. <laughs> That's why they call it glaze. That's why they call it glaze. I tell you what we're going to do. Look it up, Wikipedia. Yeah, oh, Wikipedia. Because <laughs> Wikipedia. Because I'm putting knows. it on right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get that cream again, Jax. We need a little bit more. This is just taking a long time. But you know, when you're on television, you have to make things dramatic. So we're on YouTube, so we're making things dramatic. We're drawing it out, drawing out the drama, <laughs> making the making the glaze. Now you just don't want to do it too too fast, but you know we're doing it in drips and drabs here. Almost, <gasps> almost, and the drama, the drama. <laughs> I don't think anyone's on the edge of their seats right oh. now. <laughs> don't okay. don't feel yeah. it. We need some good dramatic music. Yeah. And then it'll. Da, da, da. Anticipation. Okay, Jax, here we go with our much touted glaze and you just drizzle it on top. I mean I expect if you wanted to ice the whole thing, but I, I like yeah, the way it looks better when it's prettier. Yeah, when it's kinda of drizzled on. And you can do it any way you feel like. This is the way I feel like. You can make really big eyes and a nose and a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Good really so, great Chelsea buns. Chelsea buns, yeah. No. <laughs> okay, that's it. Good night. So there you go. When do we get to eat it? <laughs> I want to eat now. it now. All right, now. this is it. it. Oh, all right. You pulled, pulled one right pull off. Pull it off. Yeah, I don't need okay. to cut it. Mm. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Want to mine? I thought. No, I'm gonna get a small one here, because I have such a tiny appetite. <laughs> yeah. We eat small ones, we eat two small ones. Mmm. <laughs> mm, the glaze is really good too. Oh, yeah. Nothing to it. Mm. I feel like we're in Chelsea. Brings me right back to my childhood in England. Oh dear. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's very, very nice. So I hope that you will step out and try baking bread and bread things, sweet bread. And the bread chronicles. Yes, and the bread chronicles will continue.